how you feel, Neil. Another thing that happened last week was when we talked about alcohol and sexual assault, I posted it on Instagram and Sarah Silverman said, she commented like, I've had a rational fear of drunk people my whole life. Interesting. Um, Rock said, I've been saying this my whole life. Um, or Sarah said, I've had a rational fear of, I have a very rational fear of drunk people. And Rock said, I've been saying this my whole life. And what I almost wrote back was, I know, because we yell it at each other right. <laughs> every three days. Um, what I want, I, another point, I, and people said I was blaming the victim. I'm not, I wasn't blaming the victim. What I was, I don't believe I was blaming the victim. What I was doing was pointing out that there, it, you're doing, you're just doing yourself a giant disservice by get by trusting drunk men. The story I didn't tell was Brad Williams, the dwarf comedian, right? He is on the road all the time. He does not drink on weekend nights on the road because he has to walk from the comedy club to the hotel and he's afraid he'll be drunk. He's and he's afraid he has to be alert because a because drunk guys will pick him up and toss him. That's awful. I'm I, not of course going. It is. It's, it's awful. incredibly awful. It's awfully funny as well. If you take <laughs> the human tragedy out of it, take the humanity out of it. You don't know Brad. You don't know. It's funny. It's, it's just not funny. that funny. It's, it's pretty funny. <laughs> um, <laughs> no. And uh, I watch a little women LA. I've been educated on life that's of little my, people. That's my favorite sitcom. <laughs> It's not a sitcom. It's a reality show. <laughs> what? Why is it? You're I'm nominated lying. It's a reality be- show. I nominated I for you're... best sitcom this year on the <laughs> Emmys. Um, so, Brad, you know how much Brad weighs? 120 pounds. He weighs more than me? That Exactly. So, that's my point. Uh, He's worried about getting tossed by drunk men. Why are women who weigh the, the same amount or less than him... Not they. Tr- I openly trust drunk men. And by the way, drunk men don't have a natural impulse to toss dwarfs. They do have a natural impulse for sex. So please be careful. Is my point. Yeah. Okay. You, you got no thinking. I do have. I have Give a thinking. Give me a thinking. Okay. You want a thinking? Fine. Um, the difference is that a drunk man. The difference between a drunk man and a woman. The height difference is not as drastic obviously and i uh, think all right it's and not then a, a dwarf it's not a it's not a height issue i wasn't done okay jesus <laughs> sometimes you're such a girl it's crazy <laughs> oh, it's again you talk to everybody like you're dating them i wasn't done anyways um so i think in a woman's mind there's not as much of that physical threat than there would be with brad you know, with Brad, there's like a huge height difference. There's like a strength difference. I know that men are stronger than women naturally, but we don't, as a woman, I don't think we sign up for that that much in our sign heads. Sign up for what? Oh, this Getting guy could tossed? kill No, this guy could kill me. This guy, I like no men can kill me with their bare hands. If you could kill me right now. Yeah, I intend to in the, the final, <laughs> on the final Down, episode. Damn. Just look. to prove my point. <laughs> my point is that. Don't you see? It's just feels a little less threatening when I'm five, five, I'm not five, five, I'm five, two, but let's say I'm five, five and a guy is six foot. I mean, we're not talking about that many inches tall. You know what I'm saying? Like it doesn't, that physical difference is not as apparent than there. It would be to like a dwarf. I mean, I, 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 but I feel like he has to be more careful. It's there. I don't, I don't understand why he's careful but he needs to be women more feel like I should he the same thing that women say I should be able to drink wherever I want he should be able to drink wherever he wants to he just true. doesn't want to put himself in a bad situation no that's so true. he the same way women so women will make the women will say I should have complete independence and I shouldn't I this shouldn't happen this shouldn't happen this shouldn't happen the same stuff shouldn't happen to him exactly but, but he you can't live in fear because he knows met is he living in fear a little bit he doesn't drink for a 
for a, out of a fear. Why can he live in fear, but women cannot? No, I don't think he should. But I, I also think. What do you mean? I live in fear. You're saying he can and someone can't. What, do you, what do you live in fear of? Getting robbed, getting beat up, getting smacked, getting my my shit pushed in. What shit? <laughs> oh my god, your wiener. That's a, some prison shit. Oh, okay. oh. Okay. I live in I live in fear of assault. Why do you? It's not think the same men type of wear, fear, Bianca. Why do you think men mostly wear sneakers out? So they can run away from fear. No way. Yes, so we can run and fight. You didn't you know don't, that. Like, the, like this is this is not the Wu Tang Clan documentary. You did not grow up like that. Like, you didn't have to like be on. There the were lookout. so many fights at my school and at parties. There were constant. I'm not talking about high school. I've been in high school in a long ass time. I'm saying. I live in a world. You live in fear right now as a white. Not in my house, but I live in. No, no, in, I, in your life. Yeah, if I walk down the street, every single person that approaches could, uh, I'm ready for them to attempt to fuck me up. Okay. So now you know how it feels to be a woman. I don't understand the pissing contest of fear. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is you said women shouldn't have to live in fear. And I said, I live in fear. Every guy I know lives in fear. Women live in fear. I right, know. but why Why you say, now you know what it's like to be a woman. No, you know what it's like to be a man. It's the same no, human no, experience. No, it's not. Because we are... We are <sighs> so take out alcohol yes. and women still have this threat. Bianca, I have the threat. Fine, you have the threat, but not all guys have these like threats. Yes, like you're they successful do. and you're recognized. No, it's got nothing to do with it. Guys aren't being approached left and right if they aren't like have a bit of celebrity and a bit of money. Like I no, don't, they're I'm not. not worried about getting approached. I'm worried about. You just about, said I, everybody who approaches me. I'm fear of. I their, don't mean approaches me like they they're they they're a on feeler. The street. <laughs> no, I'm saying feelers. approaches me like they're walking toward me. Okay. I'm ready to fight everyone that walks toward me. I don't think you speak for the majority of men here. I don't. Based on what? Because I don't think men walk around every guy they, you, that passes them. I'm going to fight them. You are so naive. No, I if think you you're, think that men are not ready to fight. I'm not saying they're not constantly. ready to fight. I'm not saying they're not ready it's to fight. It's the same thing. Every person that approaches I, me, I don't think they look at every guy that passes them on the street as a direct threat to them. I think that I don't think not an aggressive threat. No, no, but I know have, what you're saying. We're you're saying the dead same thing. wrong if you think guys aren't ready, aren't aren't don't think that every guy could potentially attack them. I'm not even hyper vigilant. I this swear. Is, this is what I'm saying. I'm saying women are obviously at a disadvantage in society, like because guys want something from them yes. and that we physically are not on the same level. Mm -hmm. So, yes, we walk around the world in fear, but it's this back burner fear. It's not this active fear. It's a fear that's been ingrained in you since you were young. So, I don't think, I think we let it dictate our habits, but I don't think we let it dictate like what we're going to do with our lives. Right. I guess what I would say is the same way you feel like a woman should be able to drink wherever she wants, right? And not feel fear. Who said that? You're putting like some like well, that's white a, girl rosé quote said, in my like, mouth. Brad is smart and Brad takes precautions. Who said no one takes precautions? I think you're drinking acting like around, women are like, I think oh. drinking around, I, uh, tons of, you're, you said last week that you fall asleep at parties. Yes, but I'm never alone. <laughs> okay, so there's, a and lot I also of said, women. I also said that there's a risk. I understand the risk. That doesn't happen to me a lot. Damn. That thing you just did, go Google drunk girls. <laughs> Like, I know, oh, but my, you're saying you're saying you should be able to drink where you want. I'm not advocating for that. I'm not saying that doesn't exist in the world. Of course it exists. Of course people get drunk wherever they want. But I'm not advocating even, for it. I'm that. saying drinking around drunk men is incredibly dangerous for women. Okay. And I I and I don't understand. And you're mad at us for why it. that's not a. I'm not mad at you for you, it at all. There's, no, no, no. But there is the criticism. In your, I feel like the criticism is falling on the women for putting themselves in that position. I, I'm it's a not, little like, I, you know, again, shouldn't have worn that. That's what people accuse me of, which is blaming the victim. I'm not blaming the victim. What I'm saying is I don't understand why no one talks about the role alcohol plays in sexual assault. It's crazy to me. That's different than what we're it's talking about. That's a different aspect crazy. than what we're talking about. Though. That's what I was saying. I was saying they don't talk about it. And meanwhile, I'm sure, Brad, I'm sure on the 
the the dwarf message boards. Um, You're gonna get us canceled. Course, Again, many jokes coming ahead. Cannot do any of them. Don't, 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 don't um, bite it. On the dwarf bulletin board, which is about a foot off the ground. Oh, no. There Stop. are many messages about <laughs> being cautious in the same way black men get the talk when they're young. I'm assuming dwarves get the talk. And I guess I'm. do women get the talk is my question. Yeah, women get to talk the whole lives. Everything is like, don't do that. You're a girl. You can't do that. It's dangerous. Blah, 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 blah. I mean, like, I don't understand. Well, it's like, consider this. Will they fold my point of view into the talk, which is bring dwarfs in as a metaphor? No. For, <laughs> no. For, no, I'm just saying, like, what? I'm not going to prevent the fact that there's that drunk men are more dangerous than Superman. I guess that's kind of not a great sentence, but whatever, you know what I'm saying. Do like, you do you think it's true though? I think it's a hard thing to make a blanket statement statement about, but for all intents what and purposes. What percentage I talked to somebody today about it. No, I'm just saying it's hard to say like sober guy, like there's plenty of sober dudes that are insane that are just as I agree. Fearful. So, yes. An inebriated guy has less inhibitions and that's not the greatest thing. But I'm not going to, if I want to go somewhere and drink, I'm going to do it. Okay. I mean, that's just the thing. That's just the, I take precautions. I take precautions. You I don't, fall asleep. And that's you possum, like, okay, you I shared it. something with you and you throw it in my face yes, every second. It's called <laughs> Neil, life. Being Neil. It's called so being, being friends, friends with a petty person <laughs> who's got a real It's happened real like six tight brain. times. That's I'm like, a lot. It's a lot, but, and, and I'm not saying I do things great. Follow me, guys. Like, I'm just saying it's happened. I admit it. It's not a good habit, and so I generally go home before that happens. I also don't drink that much. I don't drink until oblivion, but sometimes it happens. You know what I'm saying? I like to point out, whenever people use the word oblivion, Mike Tyson used to refer to it as drinking yourself to oblivion. Oh, my God. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. How do you feel?